Uh, hey, yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitz Hotel, and today, um, I remember I made a similar video to the start of, at the start of this year, to this video, in which I counted down my top 10 favorite movies. However, I was thinking about this last night, but I, I might slightly changed differently a bit since then, and so I wanted to give you guys an updated list of some epic movies that you guys should totally watch. Um, number one, I'm starting from number one, um, David Cronenberg's version of The Fly. Um, that movie was a really good movie. I watched it once. It was pretty cool. I was gonna watch it again, but I don't have the time. Um, I'm actually going to try and give you details on what the movie's about. Um, in that movie, it was about uh, that dude, and he was building a telepod, a teleportation machine, and he was testing it out, right? But then a fly got in the machine with him, and it morphed him into a fly. Um, like a human fly. And throughout the entire course of the movie, he is turning into a fly and human fly hybrid and I think that's cool. Um number two movie on my list, Monster High, Why Do Ghouls Fall in Love? Um I watched this movie twice. Um both times that I've watched that movie but this movie have been at like midnight, like uh, midnight. Like I, I, I woke up in the middle of the night on two occasions, and I thought to myself, oh my god, Monster High, why did Goose fall in love? And so I had to pirate it, and I watched it twice. Um, it's, it's a very good movie. Um, my favorite Monster High movie. Um, I sort of remember it. Um, I've been meaning to rewatch it. It's, in the movie, um, it's Dracula Laura's Sweet 1600 thousand sixteen hundredth birthday um and she's throwing like there's a party in the catacombs and then Torelai finds out that she's not invited and she's very mean so she decides to ruin Draculaura's birthday by inviting her on Draculaura's ex Valentine and he's very evil and and there's some stuff that happens. It's 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 about that, basically. Um, I, I don't remember the rest of it. Number three movie on my list. Um, American Psycho. I watched this movie once because I heard that it was pretty good. And it was really good. Um, Christian Bale is in it. He plays pa Patrick Bateman. Um, really, really, really good acting. Um, I like that movie forgot what it's about, but I know that there was some killing in it, I remember. Um, and there was some business card scene. Um, but I remember that it was, like, a totally epic movie. Number four movie on my list, um, American Satan, that movie that Andy Biersack was in. Um, I remember that movie. It- a lot of people thought that it sucked, and it kind of does, but in a way where it's like, it's hilarious. Because like, I'm pretty sure what they tried to do with the film is make it like an edgy rock and roll movie or whatever, but it's it's quite corny, and it's, it's, they failed miserably. But not miserably, they failed hilariously. Some of the dialogue in that movie absolutely poo poo kaka but like the movie has an amazing soundtrack and like Andy Biersack is in it and I found it hilarious so it makes up for it and that's what's my top four favorite movie basically the movie it's about like the like this band the relentless and they they just they're they they're it's a it's a there's something to do with the deal. I don't know. The plot was really confusing. Especially at the end. 
I don't remember. I, I've watched it quite a few times, actually. But I don't remember what the plot was. I think it was just them trying to be successful as a band. But it had something to do with rock and roll and, like, God and the Devil and that stuff. And there was also something to do with the Illuminati. I, I don't remember it. Number five five movie on my list this is the last one um audition i haven't i i i don't know why but i've always thought that audition was like one of my favorite movies of all time i i haven't watched it in years and the f i've only watched it once and that one time that i watched it um, it, because it's, it's, it's a Japanese movie, it's all in Japanese, the entire thing. I couldn't figure out how to get English subtitles, so I just had to watch the entire thing in Japanese. No subtitles, did not understand a thing, but I think that I do kind of remember the plot, surprisingly, even though this, I, I watched it years ago. It was about this dude, and like, he's lonely, and so he meets this lady, um, and the lady, it turns out that she's, she's, she, she does not understand the concept of people maintaining multiple, like, relationship, like, friendships, romantic, in a, in a romantic, like, she doesn't understand that. And so she gets pissed at the dude for, like, having a relation, like, having a connection with his son or talking to other people. And so she gets mad at him and she tortures him. And then the movie ends. It was pretty epic, though, I think. Um, I liked it. I think. Notable mention, Frank and Weenie. I like that movie. I watched it a few times. It's about a kid and his dog dies. And he brings it back to life. And then some kids find out. And he has to bring everyone else's dead pets back to life. But they turn out to be more. I should. I shouldn't spoil the movie. I shouldn't. That's not good of me. Oh yeah. By the way, we had pumpkin soup for dinner. I like the pumpkin soup. It was very tasty. I don't have anything else to say. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get always updates. Bye. -bye.